Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Injustice 2 Flash figure from Mc Todd McFarlane's toy line, uh, DC Multiverse. Let's go over the packaging here. So it's for ages 12 and up. Uh, you get the DC Multiverse logo there. Flash, uh, here's the side. It says the Flash in white and then in blue, Justice 2. And you get the Injustice 2 symbol up top there. Nothing much on the top here besides the Injustice 2 logo there. And here's the side that says Flash and then the DC Multiverse logo. And here's the back with all these guys here. So we got uh, Batman's dad, but uh, Flashpoint Batman Robin. The, um, can you even read that? Batman Earth 11. Uh, the Red Sun Superman, and then Batman there. And then we get the card for uh, the Flash there. And it says Flash and just two there. Tom McFarland Toys. And yeah, here's the bomb with the DCPI. Besides that, let's crack them open. And here's the Flash uh, package here. So let's go over the accessories first. So first, we get this card here of the Flash running. And then you get the Flash there and just this two on the bottom and then here's the back if you guys want to pause and read that you can get that picture of flash up close flash and just this two dc multiverse at the bottom and then we get this little display stand that has the dc logo furnished there and then you get that little peg there to plug into his feet and then nothing else on the bottom or anything like that we've seen this before and then we get these little lightning effects here. So I believe these go on his, um, on this one goes on his feet, I'm pretty sure. We'll go over how to go uh, put them on and stuff after we go over the figure. But trans uh, translucent yellow, soft plastic, so that's nice. I love the mold for this because it actually looks like it's lightning. That's pretty cool. And then we get this other lightning thing here. Um, which I think just goes around his arm. Um, so yeah, there's that. Soft plastic, transparent yellow. And then we get this one, which I believe you have, it's basically him throwing a lightning bolt, I'm pretty sure, because this is a, a ball, basically. Heavy ball, so it's a pretty hard right here. And then soft plastic here. Uh, it's a pretty long piece here, so yeah. And then there's all the accessories here. So let's go over the figure here. So here is the face sculpt. Nice blue eyes going on there. Mask looks really good. It looks just like the Injustice 2 flash, uh, flash mask. You get the lightning bolts for the ears here with that circle there. And you get some lightning bolts on the mask here over the head. Through the back goes into the lightning bolts on the ears. You get that open piece there. You get some more sculpting there, so it's pretty good. Here's the back, you get some more lightning here. Kind of looks like an X here. I love the uh, texture here, very rough, but then you get the lightning here. I love the gold that they use for the lightning on this figure. And then you get like the hexagonal uh, design throughout the arm here, goes down. You get the flat surface here, it's kind of like padding, I guess. Uh, you get the flash symbol there, you get some gold on the shoulders, um, more hexagonal design here on the other arm. You get the texture in the crotch area kind of, and then you get this cool sculpt here. You get some more gold design here down the leg, inner part, you get the wings at the ankles there. And then you get the hexagon design going on there on the knees. And then here's the hand. So you get one fist to hand. This one has like padding for the knuckles. And then on the other one, we get the like clenched hand kind of where he's running. Here's the back here. So you get that gold design going through the joint there too. So that's pretty nice. You still get, you get the peg holes on here still. Um, peg holes for the elbows still too. But besides that, that's what we got for the looks. So let's go over to your articulation. So his head can go down that far. It's a ball joint, by the way. He can look up very far. He can look left and right. Um, head pivoting, 
really good amount, so that's good. Shoulders can move out, past 90 degrees, 360 rotation there, uh, butterfly joints there. Uh, bicep swivel kinda is kinda weird because yeah, see how it's chipping away there? I don't like that. It's not a good look. So see, not the bicep, eh, that's not good. Um, so yeah, I rec I, I'd be very careful with the bicep swivel there. Um, double jointed elbows past 90 degrees. Um, for the wrist joint here, we've seen this before with all the other figures. So you can maneuver on however you want. So this one right now is going side to side. So it goes down that far, up that far. And if you switch it, if it can, it just wants to stay side to side. All right, let's see if I can get up and down. Up and down. So you can maneuver it just to make it go up and down or side to side. It has a ball joint at the at, like diaphragm here. So it goes forward that far with that, backwards that far. You can go side to side with that. 360 rotation around that too. Yeah, so it has a ball joint at the hip. So with all of them going, you can go forward pretty far, backwards really far, and side to side with all those going. His legs can kick out that far. Forward, not a crazy amount. Uh, backwards, quite a bit, more than Marvel Legends. Uh, this, these figures don't have die cuts. Um, double jointed knees, so base a butt kick there, so that's nice. And ankles do the same thing as the uh, wrists. So right, so you get a nice pivot there. It goes up down that uh, up that far, down that far. And if you want to go pivot even more, you can just maneuver it and pivot that far there. And then you get that little toy, toe joint there too. So I think for the lightning here, so you, this, it doesn't really matter which side it goes on, I think, but I'm just gonna put it here. Actually, I do think, I kinda think it, all right, never mind, it is up the wrong way. There you go, so that's what it should look like, I think. And then this one, I think this goes on the arm, like that. Might have to watch someone else's video to see this. Oops, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I don't know if anyone knows where this is supposed to go. Let me know. I might be doing it wrong. Maybe it's supposed to just go like that. I don't know. And then for the arm, I mean this thing just goes around there like that, and boom. I think I don't know. You guys, let me know if that's right or wrong. But I am happy I got this figure. I like the accessories for it. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, there we go. Realign that. So, I wish I had, like, the same accessories as the other Flash figure that I did a review on, where it has the holes on the, like, legs and then the arms, too, and it had, like, the peg holes in the back to give it that nice running effect. I like that a lot. I'm not really into these because they could fall off pretty easily, and I don't know where to put them just by looking at it. So, whereas the other one is pretty easy to figure out, so... Um, with the peg holes and pegs. So, uh, but besides that, I do like the design of the figure. I like the accessories. Just wish they had like the same accessory or um, engineering behind the other one. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for the figure. Um, make sure you check out my Twitch, the Hunter Collector. I'm gonna try doing streams at some point. Um, school is almost done, and then keep an eye out on. The channel because i'm going to try to do more stuff once i am done with school and then while i'm working i'll get more money so hopefully i get enough money to get a pc a gaming laptop and stuff like that so i can do like rift games on my oculus and stuff like that so uh, but besides that that's all i got